Why John Wayne's role in The Longest Day was hated by everyone. The Longest Day, a grand war movie from 1962, showcases the Allies' D-Day invasion of Normandy in World War II. It's renowned for its vast scale, authentic portrayal, and star-studded cast. However, the film's production faced significant controversy, particularly over the decision to cast John Wayne as Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Vandervoort. In this video, we're going to explore the reasons behind the controversy surrounding John Wayne's casting. With us, as we uncover some lesser-known facts about the movie and explain why John Wayne's role in The Longest Day was universally criticized. The Movie The Longest Day, released in 1962, is an epic war film that meticulously depicts the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, a pivotal moment in World War II. D-Day marks one of the most significant and formidable operations in military history, known as Operation Overlord. It was the largest amphibious invasion ever undertaken, involving nearly 160,000 Allied troops landing along a 50-mile stretch of heavily fortified French coastline to fight Nazi Germany on the beaches of Normandy, France. This monumental effort was the culmination of meticulous planning and coordination among the Allies, including the United States, Britain, Canada, and other Allied nations. The significance of D-Day lies not only in its scale, but also in its strategic importance. It was the turning point of World War II in Europe, marking the beginning of the Allies' campaign to liberate Western Europe from Nazi occupation. The success of the invasion set the stage for the eventual defeat of Nazi Germany. Beyond its military implications, D-Day symbolized a united front against fascism, showcasing extraordinary bravery, sacrifice, and international cooperation. The planning involved in D-Day was immense, with operations spanning across air, sea, and land. Paratroopers were dropped behind enemy lines to capture key positions, while thousands of ships and aircraft supported the landing troops, overcoming formidable German defenses. The operation's success depended on the element of surprise, innovative technology, and the sheer determination of Allied forces. Directed by Andrew Martin, Ken Anakin, and Bernard Wicke, The Longest Day is based on the book by Cornelius Ryan, which shares the film's title. Ryan's book provides a comprehensive account of D-Day, incorporating detailed narratives from interviews with individuals who were directly involved in the operation. The Longest Day is notable for its exceptional cast, featuring a constellation of Hollywood and international stars such as Henry Fonda, John Wayne, Robert Mitchum, Cian Connery, and Richard Burton, among others. Understanding the need to resonate with a diverse audience, the production team created two versions of the film, an English version for Anglophone audiences and a German version titled Der Längste Tag, featuring a separate cast for German-speaking viewers. This strategic choice highlighted the film's international appeal and dedication to accessibility. The Longest Day is particularly acclaimed for its unwavering commitment to historical accuracy. The filmmakers went to great lengths to use actual military equipment and vehicles from the World War II era, incorporating live explosions and practical effects to faithfully recreate the intensity and chaos of the D-Day invasion. This approach, combined with the strategic use of both color and black and white sequences, served not only to differentiate between the perspectives of the Allied and German forces, but also to add a significant layer of depth to the film's storytelling and cinematography. Upon its release, The Longest Day was met with widespread acclaim from both audiences and critics alike marking it as a cinematic achievement of its time. The film's ambitious scope, meticulous attention to historical detail, and ensemble cast resonated strongly with viewers, drawing praise for its comprehensive and respectful portrayal of the D-Day invasion. 
Its ability to weave together multiple narratives into a coherent and engaging story was particularly noted, providing a panoramic view of the events that was both educational and deeply moving. Critics lauded The Longest Day for its technical prowess, including the use of actual World War II military equipment and the staging of live explosions, which added a remarkable level of authenticity and immersion to the battle scenes. The film's cinematography, which skillfully balanced black and white and color sequences, was also highlighted as a key element in effectively conveying the chaos and complexity of war. The performance of the cast received widespread praise, with many noting the actor's ability to bring depth and humanity to their roles. The inclusion of real-life military figures and the use of veterans as technical advisors were recognized as factors that contributed to the film's authenticity, providing insights into the personal experiences of those who fought. Financially, The Longest Day was a box office success reflecting the public's interest in and appreciation for films that dealt with World War II themes. It also performed well at award ceremonies, receiving several nominations and wins that underscored its technical and artistic achievements. Notably, the film was nominated for multiple Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and won for Best Cinematography and Best Special Effects, further cementing its status as a landmark war film. Too old. John Wayne's participation in The Longest Day as Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Vandervoort is undoubtedly one of the film's highlights. In the movie, Wayne brings to life the character of Vandervoort, a paratrooper commander within the 82nd Airborne Division during the crucial D-Day invasion. While Wayne's portrayal remains memorable and praised for its depth, there's a notable discrepancy regarding the actor's age compared to the real-life figure he depicted. The actual Benjamin Vandervoort was merely 27 years old at the time of the invasion in June 1944, reflecting the relatively young age of many military officers during World War II. In stark contrast, John Wayne was 54 years old when he took on the role, presenting a significant age gap between the actor and the character he played. This divergence in age sparked discussions and critiques among film critics, audiences, and even Vandervoort himself. Reports suggest that Vandervoort was not particularly pleased with the casting decision, citing concerns that Wayne, due to his age and physical appearance, did not accurately represent the younger, more agile figure Vandervoort was during World War II. Despite these criticisms, it's undeniable that Wayne's acting skills and his inherent charisma were not in question. However, the casting choice led to debates regarding the authenticity of his portrayal and whether the physical demands of the role were suited for an actor of Wayne's age. Nonetheless, John Wayne's performance as Lieutenant Colonel Vandervoort was widely celebrated for its authenticity and the gravitas he brought to the role. His iconic presence, characterized by a rugged demeanor and authoritative bearing, added a profound sense of leadership and strength to the character. Wayne's contribution to the film not only solidified his status as a legendary figure in Hollywood, but also added a memorable chapter to the portrayal of military heroes in cinema, despite the controversies surrounding the accuracy of his casting. Other cast members who served the Longest Day is celebrated not just for its cinematic achievements, but also for featuring an ensemble cast of renowned actors, many of whom brought real-life military experience to their roles, adding depth and authenticity to their portrayals. Among these actors, Henry Fonda stands out for his role as Brigadier General Theodore Roosevelt Jr. Fonda's military background is not just for show. During World War II, he served in the U.S. Navy and was recognized for his service with a Bronze Star. This distinction highlights the depth of understanding and authenticity he brought to his portrayal of a military officer in the film. Richard Burton, who played Flight Officer David Campbell, also had military experience prior to his acting career. Burton served in the British Royal Air Force during World War II 
His first-hand experience in the military undeniably contributed to the authenticity and depth of his portrayal, enriching the character with nuances only someone who has served could provide. Sean Connery, celebrated for his role as James Bond, took on the character of Private Flanagan in The Longest Day. Before his illustrious acting career, Connery served in the Royal Navy, a background that likely enhanced his portrayal of a soldier during the pivotal D-Day invasion, bringing a level of realism and understanding to the role. Robert Wagner, who portrayed Private Morris, was enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve during World War II. Although his time in the military was brief, the experience informed his performance, adding a layer of authenticity to his portrayal in the film. These actors, with their first-hand military experiences, brought a unique level of authenticity and insight to their roles in The Longest Day. Their backgrounds in the armed forces not only influenced their performances, but also contributed to the film's overall realism and historical accuracy, providing viewers with a more genuine portrayal of the events and experiences of World War II. Massive International Production the Longest Day stands as a monumental international production, aiming to capture the D-Day invasion with grandeur and scale unseen at the time. This ambitious project was a collaborative effort involving three major studios, 20th Century Fox, Daryl F. Zanuck's production company, and two German studios. It brought together a remarkable ensemble cast, featuring actors from a variety of countries, marking it as one of the most significant international film collaborations of its era. With a budget exceeding $10 million, The Longest Day was also among the most expensive films of its time. The investment underlines the film's ambitious scope, aiming to offer a comprehensive and multifaceted portrayal of the D-Day events. The film's intention was not just to tell a story from one perspective, but to weave together multiple viewpoints, ranging from the Allied forces to the German side, to create a rich, nuanced narrative. This approach allowed the film to present a more balanced and inclusive depiction of the historic event, setting it apart from other war films of its time and contributing to its lasting legacy in cinema. The collaboration between studios and actors from different countries underscored the film's commitment to authenticity and global perspective, making The Longest Day a landmark in the portrayal of World War II on the big screen. Real Veterans as Technical Advisors The production of The Longest Day greatly benefited from the inclusion of real D-Day veterans who came on board as technical advisors. These individuals offered invaluable insights, sharing their knowledge on everything from military strategies to the deeply personal experiences of soldiers engaged in battle. Their first-hand accounts and expertise were instrumental in grounding the film in reality, ensuring that it not only captured the events with precision, but also conveyed the emotional depth of the historic day. The veterans' contributions helped the filmmakers navigate the complexities of the D-Day invasion, enabling a portrayal that was both compelling and historically accurate. This meticulous attention to detail and commitment to authenticity set The Longest Day apart, making it a significant cinematic achievement in the depiction of World War II. By leveraging the veterans' experiences, the film offered audiences a window into the bravery, sacrifice, and turmoil of June 6, 1944, with a level of realism that might have been unattainable without their input. The Path of the Longest Day The Longest Day film was adapted from Cornelius Ryan's book of the same name, a work renowned for its meticulous research and comprehensive account of the D-Day invasion. Ryan sought to create a narrative that was as accurate as it was compelling, dedicating years to gather first-hand accounts from all sides of the conflict. To achieve this, Ryan conducted over 1,000 interviews with individuals who played a part in D-Day, including American, British, Canadian, French, and German soldiers, as well as civilians who witnessed the invasion. 
His interviewees ranged from high-ranking officers to ordinary soldiers and resistance fighters, ensuring a diverse array of perspectives on the invasion. Rian's commitment to inclusivity and detail was evident in his pursuit of stories that spanned the breadth of human experience during the battle, from moments of heroism and tragedy to instances of humor and camaraderie. Ryan also delved into a wealth of primary sources, including war diaries, military documents, and personal letters, to corroborate and enrich the accounts he received in interviews. His research took him across countries, scouring archives and libraries for any information that could shed light on the events of June 6, 1944. This exhaustive research not only lent his writing a remarkable depth of authenticity, but also helped preserve the memories and experiences of those who participated in D-Day. The publication of The Longest Day in 1959 was a monumental achievement. It presented the public with a detailed, humanized, and panoramic view of D-Day, contributing significantly to the collective understanding of the invasion's complexity and significance. Ryan's work remains a seminal reference for historians and enthusiasts, a testament to his dedication to accuracy, storytelling, and the honor of those who fought on that historic day. When adapted for the screen, the book's focus on both the immense scale of the invasion and the individual human experiences translated exceptionally well. This dual perspective enabled the film to portray the historical event with a depth that encompassed the grand tactical maneuvers as well as the intense personal experiences of combat, bringing a unique authenticity and emotional resonance to the cinematic portrayal. Furthermore, the use of live explosions in the film added to the realism and intensity of the combat scenes, helping to convey the chaos and danger faced by the soldiers. This attention to detail in replicating the combat environment contributed significantly to the film's ability to immerse audiences in the reality of D-Day, making The Longest Day a landmark film in the portrayal of World War II. Live Explosions The Longest Day distinguished itself through the extensive use of live explosions, practical effects, pyrotechnics, and actual explosives to authentically recreate the chaos and peril of the battlefield. This deliberate choice to employ real explosions, rather than solely depending on post-production special effects, significantly enhanced the film's authenticity and visceral appeal. Such an approach allowed audiences to experience the high stock is action in a manner that was both immediate and profoundly realistic, bridging the gap between cinematic representation and the true conditions of wartime conflict. Further amplifying its commitment to authenticity, the production also utilized actual World War II era, aircraft and ships, incorporating genuine military equipment and vehicles into the cinematic landscape. This included landing craft, glider bombers, and naval vessels, all of which were operational during the war. The use of these authentic pieces of military history not only provided a tangible link to the past, but also lent the film an unmatched level of historical accuracy. By integrating these real planes, ships, and explosive effects, The Longest Day set a high standard for war films, ensuring that its depiction of D-Day would remain one of the most realistic and immersive portrayals of World War II combat on the silver screen. This approach not only honored the reality of those who fought and served, but also offered viewers an unparalleled insight into the complexity and intensity of the historic invasion. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think John Wayne should have passed on the role since he was so old? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the entire video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content.
We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.